All right, again, just looking to rationalize the denominator. All right, nothing in the numerator to really worry about. I mean, it is 1, but 1's a pretty easy number to work with. So let's go ahead and make this 1 over. But we're going to split up that 32x, okay? So 32 can split up into, I don't know, 4 and 8, which would be split up into 4 and 2. All right, so this gives me 4 times 4 times 2, and then, of course, times the x. Now, this one is a square root, so actually I can pull out, right, I got a pair of 4s. So this ends up simplifying to 1 over, I got a 4, and now I've only got the square root of 2x. So in this radical, and it may help us to see this split up, so that I've got 1 over 4 again. But now I've got the square root of 2 times the square root of x. Now the reason I split that up is to see that I need a 2 and I need an x. But they are separate, right? So if I multiplied the square root of 2 times the square root of 2, then I just need to multiply the numerator by the same value, square root of 2. And the x I can multiply by the square root of x, which means I need to multiply it in the numerator as well. So what does the reason I want to do that is because this is a square root and I need pairs. I need a pair of 2s and I need a pair of x's. Did, did everyone see that right there? So... What I end up with here is in the numerator, I've got the square root of 2x. And yes, that is under the same square root because I took the square roots and multiplied them. In the denominator, here I've got the square root of 2 times the square root of 2, which would pull out another 2. So right now I've got 4 times 2. And in the denominator, I've got a pair of x's right here, which I can pull out as 1x, so I'll multiply that with the 4 and the 2. So this ends up being the square root of 2x all over 4 times 2 is 8 and with the x. See now that denominator is rational and again it's formal, it's got a nice tuxedo with some wingtip shoes and it is ready to go to the dance. So, in this problem, I'm going to look at this a different way. 1 over the square root of 32x. So, right there in the denominator right now, I've got a 32x, right? So, uh, what I can do is, actually I don't want that equal sign, is if I multiply this by... So if I just have another 32 and another x, then I should be good to go, right? But I'm going to have to do it to the numerator and denominator. So if I do this, then see how I've got a pair of 32s, which I can pull out in the denominator, 32. And then I've also got a pair of x's, which I can pull out in the denominator. In the numerator, I've got that square root of 32x, which I would just then be looking... To simplify 32x and 32 is going to split up into uh, what did we get again 8 no yeah 8 four. and 2 and then no what the heck four and eight and then yeah, that's eight, 4 thank you and then a 4 and a 2 so we got a pair of 4's so this ends up being a 4 times the square root of uh, 2x all over 32x, right? So at this point, we're just looking to simplify the 4 and 32, which would have given us uh, 1 8th. So I'd get uh, 1 times the square root of 2x over 8x, but I don't really need to show the 1 there. And this answer is the same as this answer right here that we got. I don't know which way you like better, if you want to break it up like we did in the first there, or if you just want to multiply the denominator by itself, which is automatically going to pull it out of 
the radical. Now in this case we had to do some simplification still, so it, it still is a little bit of work. 